Around the country, Americans are watching this video and forming their own judgments about what happened last week up in Tulsa, the shooting death by police of Terrence Crusher. Still a number of discrepancies to be worked out about what really happened. Also now protests and also calls for criminal charges amid a larger conversation about the need for change here with policing in America. And joined now by the Director of Strategic Initiatives, Ali Shin with the ACLU here in Oklahoma. Thanks for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, so I want to start with this. Your organization has called for criminal charges against Officer Betty Shelby. What charges? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Uh, first, we would ask that the Tulsa Police Department ensure that they're cooperating fully with the ongoing investigation. And we suspect that if this investigation is, uh, com is done fairly and competently, that we will see either murder or manslaughter charges against Officer Shelby, potentially charges against the other officers that were there as well, and we see as complicit in the death of Terrence Crutcher. All right, so let's drill down this. So you're are you calling for murder charges against Officer Shelby? Uh, we think that that would be appropriate, absolutely. And you're also calling for conspiracy charges against the officers who are on the scene? We think that the officers on the scene who allowed Terrence Crutcher to bleed out on the street without rendering any aid to this man as he lay dying are absolutely complicit in his death. Why not wait until the investigation has happened to make these calls? Why not let all the facts come out, all the fact finding happen and the due diligence happen before saying arrest her and charge her? Yeah, so we, we certainly want to ensure that the investigation is able to be completed, but we are seeing an epidemic around this country of communities of color being over-policed, of black men and women being shot and killed by police officers, and too often charges aren't coming at all. Um, there is really a lack of accountability for officers that are shooting and killing uh, unarmed black men and women, and we want to ensure that we're doing it differently in Oklahoma. This is a tragedy that absolutely could have been prevented that we hope to never have to see again, but it's happening all over this country, and we need to start taking it incredibly seriously. Okay, but do you worry about getting in the way of American jurisprudence here, in the way of uh, the proper order of things with this investigation by calling for these charges right off the bat before there's even a, an official report or finding? Yeah, I think that if uh, a citizen had shot someone that there would have already been charges at this point. Okay, so you believe that they're held to a different standard? I do believe that, yes. Okay. Uh, I also want to get your, your take on some other pieces here of this. So now, of the uh, 162 fatal shootings here in Oklahoma, by police over the last few years. These are statistics coming from the Tulsa world. Uh, only two have ever resulted in a criminal prosecution of a law enforcement officer. Mm -hmm. Is that going into what you're saying about this double standard here? And do you think we're turning a corner in Oklahoma? Yeah, I think that that's absolutely right. This is a much larger issue than uh, Officer Shelby up in Tulsa. It's a much larger issue than the Tulsa Police Department. It's bigger than Oklahoma as well. We're seeing just years and years, decades and decades of police brutality and killings, unjustified killings uh, against communities of color. Um, we really want to start addressing this from a systemic issue. Is it just because we have video now that is coming to light? Or, absolutely. or is it happening more now? I think that the video is uh, showing us what we already knew was happening. Communities of color, especially the black community, have been telling us for decades now that the police are more present in their communities, that they are quicker to dehumanize, quicker to meet them as suspects, even when, like in the case of Terrence Crutcher, no crime was committed here. Terrence Crutcher was simply waiting on the side of the road for assistance with his broken down car. That's something that's happened to absolutely all of us. Why was he treated as a suspect from the moment they arrived? Okay, sure, discrepancies. In that story, however, uh, because of what Officer Shelby, through her attorneys, has said is non-compliance, I want to play for your audience a really quick piece of what, uh, what the, uh, that attorney said. As he walked over to the driver's side of that SUV, she was yelling at him to stop for probably at least 10 to 15 seconds. So in that he says, you know, she was yelling stop, stop, and he was not uh, basically listening to her demands. And that is what changed him over from just an average citizen to a suspect. Yeah, so a couple of things there. The Tulsa Police Department, their initial statements are completely inconsistent with the video evidence we now have. There are just outright lies that have Which come pieces? out of that department. Uh, for instance, originally the officer said that he was refusing to comply with their order to put his hands in the air. I believe they also said that he was walking towards them. Immediately upon the video being released, we saw that none of that was true. His hands were absolutely in the air. Um, without body cameras and mics, we can't be sure of exactly what the officers were saying. Right. But I think that the fact that there has been so much misinformation coming out of this department already means that we should be meeting everything that comes out of this department with heightened scrutiny at this point. And to be clear, though, we only know the moments that are in the video. Obviously, there are moments before that video started rolling that we're able to see. Absolutely. Um, that being said, even if someone is not particularly compliant with law enforcement orders, 
Uh, first, why did he have to comply in the first place? He's just a citizen with a broken down car. The first question out of the officer's mouth has been, sir, how can I help you? Okay. Um, that said, not complying with law enforcement officers is not cause for execution in the street.